Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is me. I am Just Blazer Programming. I did shave as I promised from the last video because we reached 1,000 subs. Woo! This is fantastic, everybody. I thank you very much for sticking with me and for subbing to me. And I always keep my promises, as you can see here. I didn't want to do it, but I had to because, you know, I said I was going to do it. Should have waited a little bit because, you know, I was already at a thousand by the time that video came up, but whatever. Anyway, today we're going to be learning about Maui. In fact, it's going to be my first impressions on Maui. There are other videos already out there with Maui, either as tutorials or even David Roth or Daniel Roth uh, explaining, uh, you know, how to use Maui and how to set it up. But in this video, I'm going to go through how I went through trying to set it up on my end and just try to get it running. First of all, I always like to do this with new stuff. And just to see if I could figure it out before I need to go get help. And that didn't last too long. So you'll see what I mean when I move over to the next screen. So the first thing I tried doing is, okay, do I need .mi? That means I need new packages, right? So I went to the Visual Studio, uh, my Visual Studio installer to see uh, where can I find these components. So the first thing I did is go to my Visual Studio Community 2022 down here. This is this one. And try to find it in the mobile development. It's where I assume .mi would be. And as you can see here, .NET not, MAUI was not there. Xamarin's there, though, which is something that .NET MAUI still uses, but it's not here. I tried looking into the individual components, looked for MAUI, and there was just the Android SDK setup, but there wasn't any of the .NET MAUI packages that I was expecting. So I didn't know what to do. So I actually went back and uh, looked at one of Daniel Roth's videos, and he said you have to download the Visual Studio Preview instead. So here... You actually have to download the Visual Studio 2022 preview, which will look like this in the end. But I'll show you what I saw. It was a little bit different than what he was. Um, it's a little bit different than what he was looking at. So, so it was kind of strange. I got a little lost here, but I figured out what was what was happening. And just in case, you still can go to the individual components. So. It's gonna look like this. You want the Visual Studio Community 2022 preview. For me, I already have it, but this is how it's gonna look like for you um, when you charge the first time. You wanna go down here, the multi-platform map, and then you will find that there's one that has .NET MAUI in here. In case you do not see this, or if you don't think you have it, uh, you can make sure by looking at the installation details or by going to the individual components and putting in MAUI, and make sure you have all the ones for Android, iOS, Mac, and Windows and you should be fine. And, and also get the Android SDK so you can run the Android stuff uh, that you're gonna need. So that's really all there is to the, to actually installing the correct IDE with the right packages. And that'll be this one here. It's gonna say Microsoft Visual Studio Preview. And we're actually gonna create a new Maui project. I have not created one, if you, as you can see there, but I'm gonna go for the Maui project. That's not what I want. This is a Blazor channel. Obviously, we're going to go with .NET MAUI Blazor app. So getting that allows you to access the templates that you need. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Go in there. Uh, yeah, it's fine. .NET 6. So this takes too long. I'm going to edit it out. If not, then uh, we'll continue chatting. You know, I want to say thank you for the 1,000 subs. I'm very excited to reach that far. My last channel didn't work out too well. I only got 30 subs in nine months. In case you were... Wanting to know that was very frustrating. What is this? Yeah, whatever. Allow it. Yeah, allow access, please. Get give my computer as vulnerable as possible. Ooh. So, what we have here? Android SDK license must be accepted to continue using Android. Double click the message to try again. Okay. So I double clicked it. And you just accept it, like you know. And that should be it, hopefully. Now, again, I'm doing this blind. I don't know what comes next after this part. We're going to run it for Android. Because what I care about when I use MAUI, or what I'm planning to use MAUI for, is going to be for uh, iOS and Android development. Um, I really don't care much about building an actual product for Windows or Mac. Um, because I'm just going to build them in Blazor, if anything, or build them something else that's just a web app. But when I want to build an actual, um, when I want to build an actual uh, product, it's probably going to be a mobile native product. So that's what this is supposed to be. This is supposed to be the Xamarin replacement, not a Xamarin replacement, but a Xamarin like uh, optimization almost with Blazor components. 
So if you ever used Xamarin before, if you haven't, then um, just know it was really crappy. And in theory, this is going to be much better. So we're downloading something here. I'm, I'm guessing this is the uh, the emulator. It's going to emulate in a Google Pixel. Interesting. Again, I'm going to skip this step if it takes too long. Two hours later. So the plan today was actually to get a Maui application up and running. So unfortunately, one of the things that can happen when you try to run this is you have an issue with the emulators and you need the emulators to run in order for you to test, you know, iOS and Android stuff. So what I, what happened here is that um, it didn't work. For whatever reason, the emulators don't want to work for me. And I'm sure this is going to happen to a bunch of you out there. This is unfortunately how Visual Studio Preview will work. And this is one of the reasons why I was what I was afraid of using Maui because you could run into these problems. It's not exactly production ready from the looks of it. So this was after a few hours trying to fix this problem. Unfortunately, I couldn't figure out how to fix it. Um, so instead, I'm just going to leave it at this. I will try to go back to this again and fix the Maui stuff. If not, then I'll just continue on my other Blazor topics until I get the Maui stuff fixed. So. I believe this has to do with my own emulator configuration on my side. So if you run into an issue like that, then, then good luck because you're going to be there for a while trying to figure out exactly what went wrong. And yeah, that's, that's really all I have to say about this. Like when you want to use Maui, especially now because it's in Visual Studio Preview, there is a good chance this is going to happen to you. It happened to me. And if you want to see a video of someone doing it successfully, there's the Daniel Roth video of him actually showing off Xamarin working for him. But, you know, uh, they always work for the developers, don't they? So, <laughs> but not really. And, but uh, sometimes we run into problems like this, unfortunately. Like, I ran into these issues back when Xamarin was a thing. So you had issues with the emulator back then. I was able to get it to work. And I'll tinker with this a little bit more. But I didn't want to leave out this video because this is the real deal right here. This is what will really happen to you when you try to do something. Like Xamarin. So you see this, I had already the Pixel 5 Android uh, emulator downloaded. This had an error in it. I don't know what's going on. So I'm re-downloading it again. And I've done this a few times already. So we'll, we will see what, uh, if I get up and running, you know, I'll have a video out for that. And I'll tell you what I did if I figure out the solution for my issue. If not, then, well, I'm just going to move on to a different Blazor topic. So sorry about that, guys. I know you guys wanted to see that some Maui stuff, but it's going to have to wait until this is fixed. So yeah, see ya.